tarde seguimos con interés la movilización en contra de la privatización de los servicios públicos, entre ellos y principalmente de la educación. El movimiento chileno está levantando importantes interrogantes en contra de los principios y el mensaje unidireccional de los defensores del mercado. Desde aquí y desde otros sitios queremos mandar un mensaje de apoyo unánime al movimiento chileno y a todas las movilizaciones que estáis realizando. I'd just like to say how uh, moved I've been to see the, um, the mobilization of students in Chile, both the secondary students and the um, university students. Well, uh, for me, there are two interlinked reasons why the um, defense of public higher education is important. Firstly, the stratification of institutions that you have in a marketized system. So this is the equity aspect of the question. Um, Contrary to the arguments of those who support the free market, competition does not produce absolute increases in quality across the system. It simply rations quality in relation to the price of a degree, although that may happen in more extreme and more tempered ways depending on the country. And the second point is the undermining of the very purpose of the university in higher education. So it moves from being um, a pursuit of understanding of the world and benefit for society towards the interests of, of private, whether those be corporations or, or individuals. Hello, my name is Stephen Ball. I'm an academic and a researcher at the Institute of Education at the University of London. I'm just finishing writing a book about global education policy and neoliberalism. And it's all very well for people like me to write in abstract, at a distance, about the impact and effects of neoliberalism around the world. But it's important to realise, and I'm trying to do this in the book, that neoliberalism is an everyday practice. It's part of the lives of all of us now. It impacts on us, it does things to us, it makes us into people that sometimes we don't want to be. And one of the most important things in relation to that is that there are some people in some places who are able to act back against neoliberal policies, act back against reforms which are changing education, changing what it means to be a teacher, what it means to learn, what it means to be educated. It's very important what is happening in Chile. Chile is, on the one hand, a model, an archetype of neoliberal education policies, but it's also a focus of response, a focus of resistance, a focus of struggle. And therefore, it's something, it's a place that people should attend to, that people should look at. Again, student, uh, I've been aware, you know, your uh, the debates about public education in Chile at the moment. Uh, some people might say, you know, it's additional resources, but at the same time, sometimes if you look at that, uh, there are some issues around uh, this. First of all, is whether you know, the private providers are a transfer from public private resources, or whether they are additional resources, uh, additional resources or substitutive resources. And most of the time, it's a retreat of the state. Not uh, the other, you know, uh, crucial issue is about equity and quality, and the two uh, are linked to each other. So, you know, there are some big questions about the emergence of private funding and provision. the turning of education into a market commodity be something that anyone can applaud? How can the provision of education, which is at the root of human curiosity that belongs to everyone and is a social and common good, become something that is dependent on the ability to pay, on being born into wealth, having the good fortune of a wealthy and rich background? What has been really interesting is the way in which the struggles worldwide around education have been communicated across borders, making all of us alert to what our 
ruling classes and governments are doing across the world. And the eyes of the world can see what Chile is doing with its education system and how it is embedding and increasing the structural inequalities in it at all levels. mensaje de apoyo al movimiento estudiantil chileno a favor de la educación pública porque yo soy de los que piensa que una, la apuesta por una educación pública eh, de calidad, eh, de acceso gratuito, en igualdad de condiciones para, para todos y de aporte um, capacidad de competitividad al conjunto de la red, de la red escolar es asimismo una apuesta por una sociedad eh, más cohesionada, por una sociedad eh, más competitiva, por una sociedad eh, más democrática y donde la igualdad de oportunidades pueda ser efectivamente pues, un, un, un motor de, de cambio y progreso a nivel global. total apoyo a las nuevas movilizaciones de estudiantes y profesores en Chile. Creo que un cambio estructural radical a la educación pública es necesario para poder pensar en, en, un, en un futuro con paz y con justicia social. Sou estudante e professora brasileira. Sabendo da difícil situação que vocês chilenos estão vivendo com relação à educação em geral, gostaria de me solidarizar com essa luta que vocês têm enfrentado aí nas últimas semanas e dizer e lembrar que todos os direitos sociais que a gente tem hoje foram resultado de muitas lutas e muitas, muita mobilização social. Que dessa vez provavelmente não vai ser diferente. The only good thing to emerge out of neoliberalism's onslaught on human values, on all of our common and social goods, is that it is happening across the world at the same time and therefore we discover worldwide, at home and abroad, our commonalities, the strength to support each other, to prevent, to present alternative visions of education. I give you my support. So I give you my uh, support as far as I'm able and I encourage you in every way to succeed in your enterprise. Thank you. Really, I, I wish um, all, all of those people, both uh, students and other sectors of society who are involved in this mobilisation, I wish you the very best in your campaign and, and I hope very much that, that you achieve uh, the goals that uh, um, this kind of campaign wishes to achieve. Uh, trying to rebalance this notion of public good and private good and trying to find the, uh, the ways to uh, maintain equality in the education system and probably the use of a more progressive taxation. Wish you good luck. Bom, enfim, parabéns por vocês é, desafiarem o conformismo cotidiano e tentarem escrever uma nova possibilidade para a história da educação chinesa.